Hello Booktube, hope this finds you well. This is Emma from Emma's Bookish Lifestyle and today is a quick little mini haul. Uh, first of all, none of these books were purchased by myself so I'd like to thank in advance um, the publishers Hodder and Stoughton who have sent me three amazing books out of their um, August catalogue for a true and honest review and Victoria from Ease Alexandria for yet again reading my mind and picking two amazing books that I really want to get to read and I'm determined to read some of them that you've sent me Victoria I truly am I'm reading Nevermore at the moment I promise and um, there are others that I want to get to so I will do shortly the first book she sent me this month is Lucy Mangan's Bookworm a memoir of a childhood reader. Now look at that stunning hardback cover. Beautiful, isn't it? And I believe this is a true memoir of Lucy's childhood growing up and the books that instilled her love of the world and opened her eyes to new ideas and new encounters. And so I'm really, really looking forward to that one. The next book that Victoria kindly sent me was... Uh, Little Fires Everywhere by uh, Celeste Ng. Now I know this has been on booktube quite a few times on a variety of different channels. Uh, I'm not quite sure if it's 100% YA. This is uh, published by Little Brown. Um, but um, it's kind of got that feel of... Uh, what was that film... There was a film, I'm ever so sorry, completely forgotten if you remember it, put it down there. But kind of of that uniform town where everybody's got perfect little houses and they're perfectly decorated and they're all coordinated and everything matches. And then something comes in to sort of ruffle the feathers of the everyday people there. And so I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens. I believe there is an in a an event that occurs that disrupts everything um, and I've heard very positive things so I'm really looking forward to reading that. So on to the books I've been sent by the publisher. The first one is Should You Ask Me. Now this has been um, written by Marianne Kavanagh and is um, published by the imprint Hodder and Stoughton and as you can see it's quite a deep and moody cover which I absolutely love. Now the reason why I requested this um, for a free and honest review is twofold really. I really like the idea of the premise. Two bodies are found and um, I believe a lady who is 86 years old called Mary arrives at the police station and has a story to tell which links into these two bodies. And while she's telling her story to the police officer in question, he's a young constable, I believe, and a new constable called William. And he's also got his own secrets that I think might be somewhat connected to this situation. And this is based around World War Two, I believe, as well. And as you all know, I do like a good World War Two story. This is fictional. This is not factual. And yeah. I'm really looking forward to reading that. That is due out on the 31st of May and is actually in this month's TBR. And so I'm hoping to do a single review for this so that you can have a look and, you know, let me let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts? Let you know my thoughts. Oh, it's been one of those days, honestly. I've had three hours sleep um, and I'm pooped. But yes, so I will let you know my thoughts and let you know if it's worth a recommendation or not. The second book that I have is a um, debut novel by Claire Eskew and this is All the Hidden Truths and this is due out on the 9th of August uh, this year in hardback and this is a crime debut and this is in regard to 14 people that are shot in a college um, shooting in Edinburgh and three women basically view have viewpoints on this crime one is um, a victim of the first person shot the second one is the mother of the shooter and the third one is a new police woman who has been given this as her first case and as you can see i mean this is a beautiful art copy 
It's got lovely bright yellow edge papers. I really like that. I love edge papers in books being decorative and pretty covers, but I'm, I'm liking the fact that publishers are starting to put details on like deco edges and yellow pages and things like that, different coloured pages to tie in with the books. So I really like that idea. And at the back, as you can see, if I go up right close, this is the uh, final cover. So this is what it will look like on its release on the 9th of August. So again, I'll give you a frank and honest review on this channel and let you know what I think. And um, I hope that it's something of interest that might be for you in August when the book is released. And finally, the last book is four by Andy Jones and this is um, a story of um, entanglement and this is due out in July and it's due out in July the 26th and it says two couples one reckless night and basically I believe it's a couple swap and the repercussions of that and it's very much been um, recommended for people who have enjoyed Nick Hornby and David Nichols and I've only actually read one David Nichols book and one Nick Hornby book but I enjoyed both of them and the David Nichols book one day had me in floods so it'll be interesting to see how this book um, relays the scenario of a couple swap so that's the uh, books that I've got at the moment and uh, looking forward to adding to my TBRs and will be coming up in future TBRs for you. If you've got any comments or any questions, you'd like to know anything else, please do not hesitate to give me a chat in the comments down below. I love having a chat with you all. Um, I'd like to say hi to all my new subscribers. I've had a few um, join in the last few weeks and I really appreciate your support and your viewing. And uh, I do apologise a bit for the uh, mirror reflection in my glasses today, but that's down to the dodgy sunlight. And this was the best location in the house that I could find to match that. So I hope you're all well, Booktube. Enjoy your reading and look forward to speaking to you soon. Take care.